So KG, interest rate is very low right now. Is this a good time for me to refinance my mortgage? Yes and no. We'll talk about that in a minute. Hey there, this is a KG. I'm a realtor with Fairfax Realty in Greenbelt, where we help buyers to buy their dream home and sellers to sell their houses. And we do this in the Maryland, DC and Virginia region from Bowie to Baltimore to Silver Spring and Arlington and everywhere in between we have buyers to buy their dream home and sellers to sell their houses. So listen guys, if you're looking to buy, sell or move to this area or move out of this area, contact us below so that we'll take care of you. We also upload new videos weekly on what is going on in our market region to uh, update you, the buyers, the sellers, please uh, subscribe to the channel so you get updates once we upload a new video. So the question that I'm getting today is, is this a good time to refinance my mortgage since interest rate is low? Well, interest rate is very low, which is a good thing. If you have higher interest rate, this may be a good time to actually refinance your mortgage. But I want you to, I want to discuss some key points that you need to consider before you actually go out and refinance your house. The first thing is, do you have enough equity in the house so that you can refinance? Equity is the difference between what the, your house is worth right now and what your mortgage balance is. So the difference. So if your house is worth 500,000 and your mortgage balance is uh, 400,000, we say you have 100,000 equity in the house. So you want to make sure you have enough equity that you can refinance because if you don't have enough equity, a lender is probably not going to be able to refinance you. The second thing you want to look at is, do you have, in, what about your credit? So, right now because of the pandemic a lot of the credit have been tightening if you really do not have higher 600 credit score it's going to be very difficult to get a loan so even though fha do say they have 580 five something credit score you probably will get higher interest rate so you want to make sure your credit score is actually in the good range so that you can get a good deal because that's the reason why you want to refinance to bring down the payment right then the other thing is what are your financial goals what are you trying to achieve by refinancing your mortgage are you looking to reduce your payment are you looking to shorten the long term like you want to pay it off uh, quickly rather than waiting for 30 years or are you looking to get money out so that you can do some uh, renovation or pay off some bills what are your financial goals your financial goals will allow you to see what you need to do right so if you're looking to actually pay off the house quickly like in the next uh 15 years so if you're looking to pay off the house quickly then you may look at a 15 year mortgage or 20, or 20 year mortgage if your goal is to want to increase your cash flow and reduce your payment i mean reduce your payment because the interest rate is low then you may actually be okay for you to reset at 30 years again but you know individual uh, financial goals are different what is your financial goal what are you trying to achieve with this uh, refinance so you know that right because everybody's situation is different what is your financial goal make sure you know before you go and refinance what about the other thing is what is your plan as far as this house is concerned are you going to be in this house in the next two three four five years what is what is the plan the reason why i ask that is when you refinance your cost to refinance is between two to three percent of the loan amount the cost to refinance you know that's what it's going to cost you is probably money out of your pocket or money that's going to be added to the loan so if you're going to leave your house in the next one year it may not be prudent for you to refinance because you have not actually break even on what you use to refinance but look at it if you're going to be in the house for a few years when you look at the cost what is going to cost you to refinance and the benefit that you're going to get from it when are you going to hit a break-even point if it's going to cost you five thousand for example to refinance and you're going to be in the house for the next one year two years divide that amount by 24 months if it's going to be there in, two, uh, in the next two years so are you going to be able to break even from the amount that you're saving and the amount that you uh, pay to refinance are you going to hit a break-even point before you leave the house 
if you're not going to reach a break-even point, it may not be prudent for you to refinance. If you're going to actually thinking, if you think you're going to sell the house or move in the next one year or two years and sell the house, it may not be uh, actually a good thing to refinance, even though the interest is low. Uh, lastly, I hope, what are the current, current terms of your, what are the terms of your current mortgage? What do I mean by that? Some people have adjustable mortgage, some people have interest only mortgage. Although in the last few years, those things have gone, but there's still some people that have those kind of mortgage. So if you look at your current mortgage terms, are you going, are you going from a, uh, adjustable to a fixed amount? Are you going from interest only to now interest and principal? Are you going to be okay with the new payments? Look at it. And lastly, you also want to make sure you don't have any prepayment penalty on your mortgage. What does that mean? There's some mortgages that if you pay it off at, off at a certain time, they will charge you some, they will charge you fees. So go back and look at your loan. Make sure you do not have a prepayment penalty so that you really do not, it, this does not cost you money. And lastly, do you have a second mortgage or a line of credit? So if you have a second mortgage and a line of credit, those have to be paid off when you actually refinance. Are you going to have enough equity to be able to cover those things when you refinance? So these are the things you want to look at and think about before you actually go out and refinance. This will help you decide if it's actually a good thing for you to do. Interest rate is very low, which is very good. You get lower interest rate, you can pay off your loan quickly, but is that what you want to do? Look at your financial situation and go from there. Okay, guys, so listen, if you're looking to sell, to move to this area, to move out of this area, contact us below. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel so that you get updates once we upload a new video. Ciao.